Okay, we are back. This is the third part of the Busy Cuffs video tutorial of Miscellanea Blender. Okay, in the second part we end up having this square and now we are going to create the shape in the up part of it. Okay, for starting I will take this handler and move it and put it right here. It could be and this one I can put it right here. Okay, it's a bit misaligned, but it doesn't matter too much. Okay, yeah. Now we've got this shape on this segment, but we need a peak, like a special corner, very sharp, sharp corner right here. So, mm, how do we add another control point to be able to create? that shape we need. Mm, it's very easy. You just select the control points that define this segment and after they are selected you press W and select the entry that says subdivide. That creates a control point, control point right in the middle and the handlers are born with the behavior controlled by the characteristics of I think the right one, the control point on the right so this time you can just select this control point and start moving it and you notice did you notice that change of color it's green right now the green color is the key color for vector behavior but as soon as you start moving it out it isn't pointing anymore directly into the control point so it isn't in vector mode it changes mode to another mode okay you can do that also for this one change and put it right here and let's move the whole control point up by a few steps. I'm using G and Y after G for constraining the movement over the Y axis. I select this both and I do this. Yep. So that's it. Let's create a better curvature. So like this too and move them over the Y. Yeah. That's it. Okay. That's the whole shape I wanted to do. So. What we have seen after now, uh, until now, is how to apply some default behavior to the handler's blender considers okay. So the, there are a few, or each one of them has its own shortcut for automatic. You you've got Shift H for toggle free aligned. You can toggle between these two free or aligned using the H key, and for vector you use the V key. Okay. And the idea is for you to take your time and practice about those behaviors, okay? And see how the behavior reacts to some changes in the control points that are neighbors and some things like that. Okay, to finish the exercise, there is only one thing left, which is to create the hole inside the shape. And that is very, very easy, extremely easy. Blender will do it automatically for us. How? Well, you see this one circle that is blue, red, blue, red, uh, white, red, white, red, white, red. Well, that one that seems like a target is called the 3D cursor. And it is located right there. And there, where it, where it is located, is that the new curve we're going to add is going to be created exactly at that point. Do not get out of edit mode, stay in edit mode and then go to add curve and then Vizier circle. When you click Vizier circle it creates a circle, you see the new shape is a circle. And let's do this, let's start by scaling it down a bit with the S key, it's a bit smaller right now, and then you see all the control points for this circle are selected. Well, let's use the V key to make all the handlers go into vector so they go straight immediately. We could have saved time creating our basic shape before we've done that. Well, what the explanation needed to create it the other way. Okay, now we need to rotate it 45 degrees. I will press R then I will press 4 and 5 so that it 
got rotated 45 degrees and then I will scale it down on the y-axis so I press S Y and I scale it down on the y-axis so I got the rectangle I want now I move only over the y-axis with the G key I start the grabbing mode and with the Y key I say Blender please constrain this command only to the y-axis and I move it right here like this okay I can scale it out on the x-axis a bit to get it bigger and that's it so we've got the shape well pretty much the shape I told you in the beginning of the exercise okay so that's it as you can see working with, with curves is very very easy you can generate nice curves, sharp corners almost anything you want for simple curves in two dimensions it's very 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 useful technique this one okay this is the end of this issue of miscellaneous blender and let's see some other time I am Jonas Nerreño and hopefully we'll have another issue in English soon. Goodbye.